Welcome class. In this video, we will talk about the plate tectonic theory. The plate tectonic theory is said to be the most accepted theory that explains the geological features of our planet. It explains the observations and evidences brought out by Wegener's continental drift theory. Dito in emphasize ni Wegener yung perfect fitting of the continents with each other. Then, um, yung theory then ni Harry Hess, the sea floor spreading hypothesis, which emphasized the formation of new sea floor. Uh, the plate tectonic theory unified uh, Wegener and Hess's ideas and other evidences brought out by other scientists. Uh, kaya walang single scientist that is being credited for the proposal of the plate tectonic theory because this theory is a collective work of many scientists and geologists. To better understand the plate tectonic theory, we need to go back to the Earth's mechanical layers. We have said that uh, the lithosphere, a cenosphere, the mesosphere, the outer core, and the inner core are the mechanical layers of our planet. And mostly, ang involved sa plate tectonic theory is the lithosphere and the stenosphere. Sinasabi ng plate tectonic theory that the Earth's solid outer crust, the lithosphere itself, is separated into plates that move over the stenosphere, the molten upper portion of the mantle. So, um, what we are trying to point out here is that the plates itself is in your lithosphere that is over the moving asthenosphere of our planet. Okay, so take note of those two layers. So, if we will define plates, based sa tectonic or sa plate tectonic theory, sinasabi that plates are composed of lithosphere about 100 kilometers thick that float on the ductile asthenosphere. And if we look in the cross section of a plate, this is how it will look like. So, for example, example number one, this is a cross section of one plate. And as you can see there, there are a lot of processes happening at or under the plate itself. Next, this is another example of a plate and another example of a plate. So a plate could either be continental plate or oceanic plate. Plates vary in sizes. So technically we have two types of plates. It could be major or minor plate. And for the major plates, we have seven plates. You have the Eurasian, um, the Pacific, North American, South American, African, Indo-Australian, and the Antarctic plate. And then you have the minor plates. Example of those plates could be the Juan de Fuca plate. Ito yung malapit sa San Andreas, uh, the Nazca plate, and Scotia plate. But there are more examples or there are more uh, minor plates here in our planet. So, paano na-identify ng mga geologists yan? Na-identify nila yan kasi dito sa pinaka-boundaries nila, nandiyan madalas ang geological activities katulad ng earthquakes, uh, volcanic eruption, or even the presence of the mid-oceanic ridges. One of the concepts that is widely emphasized when you discuss plate tectonic theory is the plate boundaries. So there are three different types of plate boundaries. And if we will define what a plate boundary is, it is simply defined as the edges where two plates meet. So as we can see here in this graph, you can see that these are the plate boundaries of the North American African and other um, plates that we have in our planet. Now, as you can also see here in this diagram, pino point out natin yung relationship ng plate boundaries with the earthquakes na nangyayari sa ating planeta. So, geologists were able to map all the earthquakes that have happened for the past centuries and then 
they were they were able to come up with this graph saying that this is technically the plates that we have let me discuss the first type of plate boundary the first one is divergent plate boundaries so simply lang yung pagkaka-define dito if two plates move away from each other then you can call it as a divergent plate boundary now um, nagkakaroon lang ng pagkakaiba kung ano yung landform na mabubo kapag nasa oceanic plate ka ba or nasa continental plate. Kapag nasa continental plate ka, rift valley may form. Simply kasi if this is the landform the, or this is the land, the idea is that it will be stretched out because of tension and a valley may form in here as this uh, land area is being stretched out. Kapag naman nasa ocean yan, simply, you will be able to come up with mid-ocean ridges. The next type of plate boundaries is your convergent plate boundaries. So, if two plates move toward each other, then we can call it as a convergent plate boundaries. So, it could happen maaring dalawang Continental plates ang nagbabanggaan, isang continental plate at isang oceanic plate ang nagbabanggaan, or kaya naman dalawang oceanic plates ang nagbabanggaan. Magkakatalo na lang tayo dyan sa kung anong landform yung nabobuo. So, if there are two oceanic plates na nagbabanggaan, then an island arc or a volcanic island arc may form. The idea is that Kung ano man yung denser na plate, yun ang magsasubduct. And as it subduct, um, volatile mater materials will enter the mantle which will cause magma formation. At kapag nag-explode itong magma nito na punta sa surface, then you will have an island arc. Next naman, kung isang oceanic plate at isang continental plate ang nagbabanggaan, then you can have a volcanic arc. It is different with a con or with a volcanic island arc kasi this volcanic arc is in a continent. Um, the idea is that you nagsasubduct na oceanic plate will cause the entrance of volatile materials to the mantle and which will lead to the formation of volcanic arc. And lastly, kapag dalawang continental plates naman ang nagbabanggaan, then mountain ranges may form. One example of this is the formation of the Himalaya Mountains. So the idea is that um, dalawang continental plates yan, and then the land forms or the land itself will be um, will be exposed to pressure or to stress, then walang choice yung landform na ito kundi magfold at umangat ng umangat. Then, you'll have a mountain range. The last type of plate boundaries is your transform plate boundaries. So, it is described as two plates which slide past each other. So, it sinasabi yung movement daw ng dalawang plates na to ay horizontal. Hindi naghihiwalay at hindi naman din nagpapangkaan. They are not diverging or not converging. So, in this case, medyo transformational din yung pagkakadiscover sa plate boundary. Kasi most or all over a long period of time, naniwala yung mga scientists na yung plate boundaries could only be diverging or converging. So, nung na-discover yung transform plate boundaries, mas marami silang na-explain na movement ng mga plates. And one example of a transform plate boundary is the plate boundary which you can find in this famous San Andreas Fault. Isa sa mga nagpalakas ng teorya ng plate tectonic theory is yung pagkaka-explain nito kung bakit gumagalaw yung mga plates. So, technically, alam na natin to na merong convection sa ilalim ng lupa natin, specifically sa asthenosphere natin. Take note, your asthenosphere is not liquid. It is a semi-solid that behaves as liquid. 
Kasi nga, merong convection current sa loob nito. And this convection current will lead to the movement of plates present in the lithosphere. And that is the end of our lesson about plate tectonics. Thank you, kids.